So if I do anything divided by zero to get an error, instead I'll get this. What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot in this video I'll be showing you guys how to truly customize your iOS based device using the new files a jailed application All right, so get ready you can do some pretty whack stuff without a jailbreak and even modify the file system as we now have root access To the iOS file system. So it's pretty cool. And this is all with one application So it's really pretty amazing what you could do without a jailbreak nowadays But anyway, just show you guys some of what I did was so at the lock screen you guys see where you just said slide to unlock, it'll show, boom, those little emojis. So that's really cool. You could put it to wherever you want. So I just did to those three emojis. I'm going to be changing it later, but here we go. Let's go to unlock this device. Another example of what I did was if you go into the calculator application and divide anything by zero, this is on Reddit. So anyway, so let's just do, I don't know, this number divided by zero. You guys know that that doesn't really add up. So here we go. Let's say equals. And there you go. So it's pretty funny. You can just change it to whatever you want that to say. Now, I will be showing you guys so much more on how to customize your device without a jailbreak in future videos too. But anyways, for this, what you want to do is first go ahead and open up your Safari application. Once open, click on the link that will be down below inside the description and make sure that link does open up inside the Safari app. There will be a Safari icon somewhere. Go ahead and tap on it. And once in the Safari app, you want to go ahead and hit download now. So there's download app. And I think I said now before, but anyways, allow and install and type in our passcode. Then at the bottom, you'll be prompted to install and now tap on install or done on the top right. Swipe up or hit your home button and just go to tweak box. It's going to open this up and on startup, you will get an advertisement. It's going to wait and you'll get an X somewhere. There it is. Simply go ahead and tap on the X button and now go to the app section and go to Tweakbox apps. So once over here, go ahead and go to the search and in the search, type in files us. So F I L Z. I think that should do it. Z hit return. So just like that, go ahead and type in files up. And my little sensor on the top is going crazy. You can see it on camera, but you can't see it in person. But anyways, there's the app that we want installed. So tap on it and it's pretty cool. So install. And this is basically iFile, except for non jailbroken devices. And I think I kind of like it more than iFile. And let's go ahead and hit install. Install in this prompt. X out of here. And you guys will see installing on your home screen right there. It'll take just a second. And once it's done, you want to go ahead and tap on it. And it will open right up. Now, don't worry. You may think that this is complex, but it's very simple. Trust me. So anyways, first to do the calculator one, what you want to do is go all the way back. And here's a simple um, little workaround. I tried following the Reddit directory, but I could never find the file because my file system is kind of different. So this is how you'll find it irregardless of device. So once you're all the way back to the slash, you want to go ahead and tap on the search right there. Over here, you want to go ahead and type in calculator.app. Once you do that, go ahead and hit search. And now I'm going to wait for it to load up. Now there will be multiple ones. So this is how to check to see if you're in the right one. So let's go to the first one first. I'll be showing you guys what you want to look for. So again, let's go and tap on the first one. And over here, you want to go and select your language. So for me, I have English on my device. So that would be English right there in en.iproj. So anyways, once over here, you guys can see that this one does not have localized strings, which is what we're looking for. So let's go back and let's go to this one. And this one doesn't have that languages. So let's go back and over in the third one. Let's go ahead and type on our language. So again, en iproj for me. It might be different for you if you're using a different language. And once we tap on that, here is what we want to see. Localizable strings. So make sure that you do see that. And then tap on this. Tap on this arrow next to root. And over here, tap on error. So this is where we're going to be changing what the error says once you get it. And just type in any value that you want. You can even put an emoji if you want. So let's do, I don't know cool so all you gotta do is now go back and make sure it shows right there just be sure not to mess up anything that you don't know what it is and anyways once you are have this just going to hit save and that part is basically done so it said done now in order for the changes to take effect you do have to restart your device but before we do that let's going to also change the lock screen where it says like the emojis or slide to unlock. So anyways, to do that, what you want to do is go all the way back. So we're all the way back until we can go back no more. We got the slash. And over here, what you want to do is go and tap on system. Then go to library. Then go down to core services. Keep us going down. 
and there it is core services and over here going to tap on springboard.app and over here, going to select your language. So again, for me, it was ian.iproj. Now over here, if you are on the cool. iPhone 8 or below, what you want to do is tap on springboard.strings. So once over here, you guys want to go in and tap on the arrow next to root again. And over here, go in and scroll down until you find press to unlock. So something like that. So keeps going down. It's in alphabetical order. So keep going, keep going. Almost there. And there it is. Press home to open press home to unlock so those are the two things that we want to change so first go to press home to open just tap on the i and over here you want to change the values so i just named it hello for example you can change to whatever you want put in some emojis and once you have that go back and go to press home to unlock now and then here, here again you want to just type on the same thing so again for me it was just hello and you will get the save button on the top right now once you go back so Anyways, tap on save and hit done on the top left. Now, again, that's if you're on the iPhone 8 or below. On the iPhone 10, it's a little bit different, but it's actually more simple. So you'll find late fall 2017 iOS underscore strings. So go to tap on this if you're on the iPhone 10 like me. And anyways, just go to tap on this arrow. And at the very bottom, you guys will see swipe up to open and swipe up to unlock. Now we're going to be changing those values to whatever we want. So I'm going to be actually changing this. You guys will see this actually change effect. So how about let's do the monkey emoji and this emoji and this. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that because I don't want to type that in again. So copy and let's go ahead and go back and we're going to do the same thing like with the last one. So on the other devices. So it's the same thing except for in this and here we go. So now that we paste it into those two spaces, you guys see the changes did to take effect right there. So now it's going to save. Just tap on save and done. So that's how to do it on both devices. Now I can X out of here and let's go to reboot our device. So on the iPhone 10, volume up and power on all other devices. It's pretty simple. Just hold on the power button to turn it off. I don't know why I'm telling you guys to turn off your device. You guys probably already know. But anyways, once it is off, go to turn it back on. Just do a reboot. So here we go. And now we wait. Now again, guys, you don't want to mess with any files. I don't know what they do because it could mess up your device. But anyways, you guys can see right there. All right, so take a look at that. I've got so many emojis that one's at the bottom. It actually looks pretty cool. So again, boom, and take a look. What if you added a ton of emojis? I don't know how that would look, but you can try if you want to. So if I do anything divided by zero to get an error, instead I'll get this. So I did add some emojis. And now they show up in my calculator app. How cool is that? And guys, you can do the same thing if you just type in safari.app and just change stuff for over there. But again, be very careful. You don't want to end up having to restore your device. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button. And also be sure to get subscribed for tons more content. Anyways, hope you enjoyed as always. Again, and anyways, peace out. That was probably the worst outro I ever did.